equivalent fractions the name of the game divide and multiply the top and bottom by the same that's right so if you took a hundred pence you could see that ten hundredths equals one tenth and two quarters that's the same as a half and three ninths is a third of a chocolate bar so if a fraction's equivalent don't get shook because they've got the same value just a different look equivalent fractions the name of the game divide and multiply the top and bottom by the same that's right so if you took a hundred pence you could see that ten hundredths equals one tenth and two quarters that's the same as a half and three ninths is a third of a chocolate bar so if a fraction's equivalent don't get shook because it's got the same value just a different look it's all about fractions but don't be afraid let's represent the numbers in a different way so one divided by two is half we say you can check it for yourself it's like a piece of cake so we start with the whole thing looking all nice but you want to share it out so you gotta divide both you and your friend want an even slice so the parts that are left should have an equal size the same thing applies if you're cutting it more because you've got four people and you want it in quarters and now that the cake's cutting four even portions the two out of four is also half the proportion because the same proportion is covered in shade you can see the two fractions must be the same and that means they're equivalent just check the hook because they got the same value just a different look i love school yeah, but... equivalent fractions the name of the game divide and multiply the top and bottom by the same that's right so if you took a hundred pence you can see that ten hundredths equals one tenth and two quarters that's the same as a half and three ninths is a third of a chocolate bar so if a fraction's equivalent don't get shook because they got the same value just a different look now another exercise for the brain let's get the equivalents and put them in a chain no matter what just remember to change the numerator and denominator in the same way so one over two becomes two over four or three over six what you want to do more okay four over eight and then five over ten or even six over twelve you can follow the trend now if someone asks to see what one over three as a portion in fifteenths might really be we can see that fifteen is five lots of three so the numerator is five lots of one you see and 8 over 18 is something over 9 whatever's done to the bottom do it to the top side so from 18 to 9 we use 2 to divide so 8 divided by 2 will put a 4 on the line Equivalent fractions the name of the game. Divide and multiply the top and bottom by the same. That's right. So if you took a hundred pence, you could see that ten hundredths equals one tenth and two quarters. That's the same as a half and three ninths is a third of a chocolate bar. So if a fraction's equivalent, don't get shook, because it's got the same value, just a different look.